Hi, this is Paul Hagen with Adroit Surgical. Uh, we've received some questions from many of you that have been on the critical care medicine and COVID-19 calls. Uh, we wanted to illustrate for the point from some of the CDC and AMA and AHA and others that have been giving guidance. Uh, we know this guidance is changing every day. Uh, so as of today, Thursday, 26 March, um, we all know that with COVID-19, we are trying to control the source. We are also trying to protect the receiver. Uh, we are trying to limit exposure time in all droplet producing procedures. That's why first pass success is so important. We're trying to keep our distances and we're trying to use disposables or clean everything properly. So uh, for this intubation, I'm gonna use the V-scope coming in midline, tongue, epiglottis notch. I'm staying a very safe distance away and I'm quickly passing the bougie through the vocal cords. Now I'm away from the face. I'm selecting the proper tube size. Follow your local protocols for depth. Inflate the cuff. And this is a little bit more challenging with PPE. I, I appreciate people challenging me to do it, uh, intubate with PPE. Um, all this PPE has been from our training closet. None of it has been wasted for this training video. It's all old or used uh, PPE from our training closet. I'm going to remove the bougie and now ventilate the patient. So I've tried in this droplet producing procedure to limit my, uh, my uh, exposure distance. Uh, the time was minimized because we quickly intubated and uh, this is a fully disposable devices. Uh, I'm not really sure how you would clean some of the other uh, options out there like a video laryngoscope. I don't know how you clean the uh, monitor and the cable and stuff after you dispose of the parts. So keep the questions coming and thank you for watching.